We are just about to head over towards Iowa City. It's about an hour drive. We have been cooped up because it's winter time and it's cold and Nala, our little doggy, she really likes going outside and playing and stuff like that, but we haven't been to the dog park because it's brutal cold and I don't think there'd be dogs there anyway because it's brutal cold. Um, so I didn't want another dog. When our other two dogs, we, they passed away, I didn't want to get another dog, not at least right away, but Nala, uh, Robin talked me into going to this rescue place and we got Nala. She was just a little puppy and honestly I've fallen in love with her. But she is very, very hyper, very, very happy and always demands, and when I say demands, she demands attention. <laughs> and uh, more than we can give her. So we found somebody that was giving up another dog the same age as her. Uh, what's this dog we're gonna go get? It's a an American Eskimo. She's 15 pounds, so she's a little smaller. So here I am once again gonna have two dogs. Was that Nala's huh? squeaky? No, it was my toy. Oh, the squeaky toy. So Nala, I told her several times last night as if she could really understand me, that today's a big day and she's gonna be very happy every day going forward because she's gonna have a buddy. So we're about to head out here. Uh, it sounds like the ham group, the local ham group is on the radio, so this is only going to be the second time I get to chat with them while I'm in the truck. Alright, so we're off. AF Zero DMU. I'll let you out. Hold on. Hold on. Ready, Nala? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Roxy. Nala. Oh, you got. Okay. Stop. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Dainty ish, but not. Nala's a little timid at first, but she'll warm up to her. Wow, you are. Oh, yep. Okay. You're going to go play? All right. <laughs> She's like, I just want to run. Yeah. And the minute that the neighbors are out, I'm like, Look, the boys are out. And then they get to the fence, and then they run up and down the fence. Oh, goodness. The fence and well, hi. Oh, my goodness. Someone to run with? Yep. <laughs> I'll stop big enough to fit them all in. Like, yeah. I, how can I, which one do I want? My daughter is begging me for a small video of them. She's like, please, hurry, send it. Oh. How old's your daughter? She's 23. <laughs> but she, um... We had Lulu when she was seven, I think we got her. And oh, yeah. so she's like, I want the dog, get the dog. I'm like, it's not gonna be your dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's so funny, because once it snowed, I'm like, where's the dog? Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> he works from home all the time. And, uh, he's there. and it's been that way for We got Nala when she was about seven weeks old from the Heartland Humane Society in Atoma. Oh. They usually don't let them go until there they're they about go, four months go. old. So that you, they'll let you, you know, put a hold on them. Like, that's the one I want. But yeah. that lady let me take her. She's like, she's like, it's a, it's fine. I trust you. You can take her. We had another dog, the turkey, at that time, too. They are now the bestest of friends. And this is what they do all day. Well, they don't bark all day. Right now, she's just, they're just, this will happen for like five minutes and they'll chase each other around. And then they'll just do nothing for 10 minutes. And then they'll do this for five minutes and
So Nala is a very happy puppy now. She's no longer bored to death. She has somebody to play with pretty much 24-7. And then that's what they do. Now they just sit there and camp out and dig for stuff and chew on sticks and walk around. And then in about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, they'll do their little play again. <laughs> 